Every single day, aluminium plays an integral part in all of our lives. From the cars we drive, to the wires that deliver our power, from the windows in our homes, to the device you are watching right now. Aluminium is a major component in making the world work. So have you ever wondered how aluminium is made? Essentially, it is the process of combining the raw ingredients of alumina, petroleum, coke and electricity that produces aluminium. However, there is so much more to making this happen. Let's take a tour of the Tomago Aluminium Smelter in New South Wales, Australia to see how it is produced. Tomago Aluminium is a major part of the Hunter region and New South Wales economy directly employing over 1,000 individuals and indirectly supporting over 5,000 contractors, suppliers and their families across the supply chain. All of these people have specialist skills, ranging from potline operators to chemical engineers, skilled trades to environmental officers, truck drivers to apprentices and so many more in between. The raw material of alumina is delivered from suppliers around Australia and along with petroleum coke and liquid pitch is stored at the port of Newcastle before being transported to Tomago for smelting. The Tomago plant is divided into three sections, the carbon plant, the pot lines and the cast house. The carbon plant is where liquid pitch and the petroleum coke are mixed to create carbon anodes. Carbon anodes are an essential part of the aluminium smelting process and form part of the reaction that transforms alumina to aluminium. The carbon team is continuously refining the anode making process to produce better results in a more sustainable way. Once the anodes are baked, they are moved to the rotting shop to be prepared for use in the pot lines. The pot lines are the largest section of Tomago aluminium and this is where alumina anodes and electricity are combined to form molten aluminium. There are 840 individual pots spread across three pot lines on the Tomago site, requiring approximately 900 megawatts of electricity to power them. Although that is a lot of power, it's power that is readily available to be given back to the grid to help stabilise electricity supply across all of New South Wales. Inside the pot is where the magic happens. Raw alumina is fed into the pot where electricity is passed across the carbon anode and into the cathode to create an electrolysis effect. This electrolytic process chemically dissolves the alumina resulting in two products, molten aluminium and carbon dioxide. The emissions are carefully extracted and dry scrubbed before being released safely to the atmosphere. The 960 degrees Celsius molten aluminium is siphoned from the pot into a ladle that is then placed onto a transport vehicle and moved across site to the cast house. In the cast house, there are 12 holding furnaces that hold up to 55 tonnes each. The aluminium is held here before being cast into ingots, billets and slabs. Ingots are a standard aluminium product for which the price is determined by the London Metal Exchange. Billets and slabs are alloys that are made to specific customer requirements and contain different levels of other metals. The processed aluminium is then stored on site before being transported all across the world to be used to manufacture all manner of products. So there you have it. That's how aluminium is produced at Tomigo Aluminium. We've been refining and improving the process since 1982 and will continue to do so for years to come.